Welcome to the Night Show. Welcome to another Minecraft video. <coughs> Jack says he doesn't say that anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here. Welcome back to another Minecraft. Man, I can't get thanked for copyright on that stuff because I'm good enough. But... <laughs> Dave, are we live? We're live. Maybe. Pen left camera one. <laughs> All right. Ludmilla, Amy, Nancy. I'm going to have to start closing the windows. Why? Too cold? <coughs> no. Too Tina, Karen. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to pull it? Sure. Hello, Hello, everyone. Welcome to Living on a Dime. I'm Tara. This is Mike. Wait. This and is... we are the Living on a Dime cooking show. We are. What to do when you mess it up. <laughs> Today we're making something awesome! Dining on a Dime cookbook, page 290, my granola bars. Homemade granola bars are the best. Okay, so here's the thing with granola bars, guys. It's just cookies. But they're healthy cookies. No, they're not even All healthy cookies. All cookies are cookies. healthy cookies. <laughs> just kidding. If you go look at a package of granola bars and a package of cookies, they have the same amount of calories. There's nothing healthy about them. Whoa. Now we're getting real. <laughs> Did I just break the news to all the people who thought they were eating healthy? <coughs> yeah, the viewers just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, this is my homemade granola bars. They're super delicious. I am making them gluten-free today, but if you want to make them regular, you can just use regular flour. <coughs> I'm using gluten-free flour today, but... Des, hello everyone! Hi everyone! And Dave, give a shout out to everyone. Okay. Um. Alrighty, so. Good day, Tanya in Australia. Oh, 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 look what I have on. Look what I have on. Alright. My Australia um, apron that Amy T sent me last year. Well, no, year before last now, I guess. Wow. Hi, cat. My aprons are starting to get some, what do you call it? Some Where is that? time on them. Oh. Some, they're going to be classics soon. Jane says you seem much better, Tara. <laughs> well, that's because I've been sitting on my booty doing nothing today. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yes, I do match the Valentine's Day <laughs> Uh Oh, yeah, Denise, Dave is back, but I'm going to kind of downplay that so he doesn't ask for a raise. <laughs> Just get your <laughs> old cuffs. <laughs> it's like when you need to sneeze, but you're trying to hold in the sneeze. So we're heading to ear, nose, and throat tomorrow to see if Dave needs to have <coughs> adenoids removed. Um, and so we're gonna check that. Sorry, hold on, That was my decorative towel. <laughs> I kind of broke it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm ruining everything. I should just go back to so, the yes. so I had it all folded because it doesn't fit on there correctly and Dave just um, undid everything. <laughs> okay, so we'll just pretend like that's all nice and neat. Even though it's not. <laughs> okay, here we go. So in my bowl... Right here, I have my butter and my sugar, and then my brown sugar. Okay, got that all done. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And if you're just joining us, this is in Dining on a Dime, page 290. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. Wow. <clears throat> okay, I'm like flinging stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay, hold on. My good grief. My brown sugar is just... Okay, now let's try again. Whoa! Oh my! Oh! Whoa! Hello! She's back! No, oh, thanks. <laughs>
my cone healthy granola bars. Well, well, they're as healthy as granola bars get. It depends on your definition of healthy. Really, there is no healthy granola bar out there. I mean, really, there's just not. They're all delicious. You can oh. argue with me all day long, but when you look at the amount of sugar that's in granola bars, <laughs> they're not healthy. <laughs> they're just a snack. They're just a snack. Okay, so my butter was not soft enough, and that's why I'm having such an issue here. It's been out for an hour, so I thought that would have been long enough, but that's okay. We'll just keep forging on here. Okay, I'm tired of doing that. So, we just won't get it fluffy today. <laughs> does, it, does it need to be fluffy? No. Oh. I only do it fluffy like half the time. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, as far as granola bars go, you might as well just be eating a cookie for, or I mean a candy bar for most of the time. <laughs> yes, Denise, I was wondering about her flinging the dough and Dave was back there ducking because it was flying his way too. Okay, sorry. Now I just made a to kill him. huge mess. <laughs> okay. And now for my wonderful vanilla that was sent to us. Which we appreciate. Okay, the vanilla. Okay, now the. Oh, Arlene says, glad to be home from the hospital to make it for the show. We're glad you're here too. Ooh, I hope you're doing better. All right, and then my corn syrup, my egg, and my vanilla are put in there. Karen's wondering if you use gluten-free flour and things, is there a big taste difference? Um, not a huge taste difference, no. Well, I don't, it's it just... It's more of a texture difference, isn't it's it? It's more of a texture than taste, and I'll be honest, I don't like the texture of a lot of gluten-free flours. Um, okay, so I just put in my baking soda, and I'm putting in my salt. <clears throat> um... I, uh, starting my oven, which I forgot, and my cinnamon, which I'm out of, <clears throat> and then I'm stirring those in first. Now, I stir those in before I do my flour because I like to make sure my baking soda doesn't clump and that it gets in there really good, okay? It's a bit clumpy. It's going to be nasty. All right, and so then um, my flour is going in. I couldn't remember how much I needed. Okay. A lot of people said they got notified. Yay. Well, sadly. Okay. Some so, people didn't, apparently. Okay, and then my oatmeal. <clears throat> this is quick cooking oats, guys. It does make a difference because you don't want steel cut or the slow cook oats. You want the quick cooking. <clears throat> this is a great way to use up instant oatmeal if you um, have, like the other day on our How to Save on Groceries Facebook page, we had a lady who had instant oatmeal packets and she didn't know what to do with them and that's a good way to do them. Okay, so now... I'm taking my gluten-free O cereal here. But Peggy was asking the, I'm guessing the measurements don't have to be exact on the, what you just made? Well, I'm, yeah, I'm measuring it. Oh, okay. But, I mean. Was it, you, did you measure the salt? Because that's what I know you Oh, the measure. salt, I just know Tara how much doesn't salt, usually, yeah. Yeah, she just usually dumps the salt. I know how much salt needs to be in there. Okay, so take your leftover cereal. Now, you can use anything leftover. Leftover graham crackers, crushed Bran flakes, corn flakes, 
crispy rice cereal. I'm using oat cereal here. And just mash it up. Mom, tell my brother that the show's on. Okay. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm getting my cereal in here. Now here's another little tip, guys, while I'm on this path. When you're done with these bags in your cereal, this is waxed paper. You, now this one has crumbs from the cereal, but usually it's not this crummy. And you can take and put and <laughs> save these, flatten them, put them in a file folder, and then use these to smash your chicken breasts or your round steak, those kinds of things, and then, then throw them away. That's a really good way of doing that. So that's a great way to use those leftovers for... Um, for uh, when you have the bags left in the cereal. Okay, now I'm adding chocolate chips to mine. You don't have to, but I'm adding them for this one. Okay. <clears throat> Sitting and outside and watching with my dog. Damn it. <laughs> All right, Heidi. Ellie, can you hand me the pan? <clears throat> Christine says your recipes have been very popular with my husband so yeah. far, especially oatmeal Yay! cookies. Yay! I'm so glad your hubby's liking them. Pam. And Kelly was wondering if we're streaming to the Facebook grocery group. We, we are, not. are not. We are only streaming on Living on a Dime right now. Um, we were doing a test because when we started streaming to the grocery group, YouTube suddenly deprioritized us and they're not showing the show to hardly anybody now. <laughs> YouTube now hates us? No, Facebook. I mean, sorry, Facebook. I said YouTube, didn't I? Facebook. Okay. So now, I'm going to take my pan. So we tried undoing it to see if that would help, but it didn't. Yeah, Facebook has really hosed us, so we're trying to figure out what Mike's going to do for his next career. Any <laughs> suggestions? <clears throat> we'll take them. Let uh, me know if anybody has any suggestions. I'll be a model. <laughs> You'll be a model? <laughs> oh, 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 Dave, raise it up to me. What? Okay, speaking of Michael's next job career. What? So today I was saying, you know, I feel like we need to go sit on the beach for three months. Oh, yes. And just rest. You know how in the old stories, I read all these books from like the 20s and all that, and the family for the summer would go to the beach when the mom was really, you know, sick and worn out and everything. You gonna make an announcement? Yes. So, I decided that I figured out the perfect job for Mike. What? What is it? A bartender. <laughs> oh, I'm the one who said that. Wouldn't that be perfect for him? So then... <laughs> so then... So tell me about you. <laughs> wouldn't that be great? So as he's giving the people their, their whiskey and all that, he could say, Do you know Jesus? <laughs> Don't you think that would be great? You would be a great bartender. Actually, I think you should do that. Yeah, you probably would be. I think you should do that. I think that would be a great next job for you. Um, I, I hope I could get the skill set. <laughs> can, you, Actually, can you fling bottles of booze up and down everywhere? Oh, you have to do that? I thought you just had to read a recipe and put stuff in. Okay, so here they are in our pan, all nice and smushed in, tasting so, delicious. Christine was asking if you're using pancake mix instead of flour. I am, but that's just because that's what I have on Wait. hand. Because it's gluten free, right? Wait, was the flinging bottles of booze a reference to the greatest show? Wait. No, there was some movie oh, okay. with bartenders. <coughs> some Tom Cruise movie or something, wasn't it? I can't remember. I was going to say. Cause I don't know. I don't think they ever did <coughs> that, but they, didn't, they were flinging everything around the bar. Oh, the yeah, in the greatest showman, they were flinging it around the bar, too. That's right. <coughs> That was Ellie's favorite scene. Her favorite character in The Greatest Showman was the bartender. <laughs> Lost Control says, Mike's uh, next career for Mike, toilet paper tester. <laughs> Thank you, Connie. Connie says Mike could be a model. <laughs> there you go. See, there you go. Okay, Diana Dime Cookbook, page 290 is our granola bars. That's what I just put in the oven. 
Okay, so I'm gonna cut some soap here real quick. I also see motivational speaker, minister, gnome wrangler. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Wow, am I motivational? I'm not feeling like it today. I don't care, but your job has to make more than $150,000 a year. <gasps> Whoa. Uh, Dorothy so says, bank robber? <laughs> Dorothy, so says, robber. Dorothy says no bartender. Uh, my, my drunks are annoying. Drunks are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Pop says I work at General Mills where we make granola bars. Well, when you're going to put us out of business. <laughs> And Butterfly on my wall says my mother-in-law used to use the wax paper from cereal boxes all the time to cool her fresh baked bread on there. Yep. I didn't even think yeah. about that. Yeah, you can use them for lots of things. You could even use it to store your sandwiches. That's how they used to take sandwiches. Just cut it in half and put your sandwich in there and fold it over and put it in your lunchbox. Okay, so we got this from Suzanne in... Oh my, where is that? Is that Washington? Is that a W or an M? Uh... Oh, here, let me look at the zip code and I'll tell you. I bet it's an M, Massachusetts, because zero is not west of the Mississippi. Yep. It is. Yeah, that's how Wait. I knew it, because zero is always on the east coast. <clears throat> okay, so I'm suddenly feeling like I lost something there. I okay, like, hey, Suzanne Massachusetts. in Massachusetts. So, I don't know what this is. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Ah! Oh, I think it's for me. It's a... <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Oh, and oh, a Tasha Tudor card. <gasps> I even recognized it without looking at the back. Let's see. I love Tasha Tudor. Yeah, you do. Wow. Impressive. Oh, man. It was in her favorite used bookshop, and she came across it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to have to frame this card, too. I love Tasha Tudor. <laughs> Although, in the end, things kind of didn't work out very well. Her kids ended up fighting in court over her estate. And yeah, it was a big old mess. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I can't go be a hermit because my kids will... <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, the Gnome's Book of Christmas Crafts. <gasps> oh, man. Nice. Oh, man. That is so cool. Oh, thank you oh, yeah. so much. You want to say, Jack? Oh, here's the bathroom I need. Oh, hold on. What? Look at That's what I need in the bathroom. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, there's a blankie for you. Would that be cute? Yep. Oh, man. Look at all the cute things in here. <laughs> Oh, thank you! Oh, wow. You should tell them what you got. It's like what did you get? Birthday. Jack is really excited about what we got today. What did you get today? What did we get today, Jack? A free slushie. A free slushie? How did you get a free slushie? We went to the counter and they said, you guys come in here a lot and you have a nice smile. So just take them and go. <laughs> wow, guys. Really? See, so it like, pays to smile at people. Nice huh? job smiling, Jack. <laughs> oh wow! Well, thank you, man. I'm so excited. Oh, All right. So while that's in the oven baking at 350 for 20 minutes, anybody see what time I put it in there? <laughs> um, we'll just do what 15 more minutes, maybe. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut some soap here while we're waiting for just a moment to do a taste test. Okay, so here is my soap I made on Monday. Oh. Now this was the blue liner and it literally fell off. So I love that, but apparently I didn't cut my liner right because you can see it kind of crinkled on the end there. <coughs> so that's going to be a sample piece. But it really, I'm thinking maybe that blue liner is the way I'm going to have to go for this. Um, now you can see the top did get some soda ash. See how it's kind of whitish on the top? That's soda ash. Did you spray it with alcohol? I did spray it with alcohol and sometimes it just happens anyway. <clears throat> and then you can see right here it cracked just a little bit. 
<gasps> I think it heated up a little too much. I was soaping at a higher temperature, about 120. I've been trying to do about 100, and I think it just heated up a little too much. So, got a new wire on my thing after I broke it the last time. Here we go. Lisa says I could make, make big money being a manager at In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> you could be an In-N-Out Burger manager. Why would you make good money? Apparently they get paid well. <clears throat> huh. <laughs> well, there you go. What else could we do for a career? In-N-Out Burgers are good. Mike's next career. How many careers <laughs> do you have in a lifetime? Too many. <laughs> <clears throat> this one is pink berry mimosa and i have to say it smells really good berry mimosa yes it's pink. lexi's birthday today oh and Hi, we forgot a super special birthday on monday i was so out of it because we were we'll sick see her on here but we'll sing it we're gonna sing that special just for her first okay so we're gonna do Oops. that special for our friend in israel annika it was her birthday Monday. Hey, hold up, crinkling paper coming through. Hold up, this is So we're doing just her Annika real, first. Yeah, her real birthday, although she was assigned a different birthday by the state when she came back to Israel. Really? Whoa, yeah. how does that happen? <clears throat> they, so she doesn't <laughs> even actually know how old she really is for sure. Because <gasps> she was only like five or something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Annika. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Woo! So she's 70 something years old. Are you supposed to say it? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Happy birthday, Annika. Happy birthday. And I don't think her package got there. I've mailed it three times and it hasn't gotten there still. Oh. I'm so sad. Okay, whose birthday was it again? It was Lexi. I was just going to check real quick to make sure there's nobody <clears throat> else. Uh, it's not showing me anything. We had to do Annika special because she sends us all kinds of special presents and everything. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't see any others, so hopefully we didn't miss any. Lexi, so you said? <gasps> yes. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lexi. <laughs> we need to go the same way. Happy, birth Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Sorry, but happy birthday, Lexi. Oh, happy birthday, happy birthday. I was going to try something different. I was improvising. <clears throat> Didn't work so well. <laughs> okay, so there's my pink mimosa. I really like this one. Yes, my dear? Lexi's birthday. Oh, I don't know how, I don't know her last name. Oh, I was just wondering. Yeah, do you have a school friend named Nuxie? Yeah. Oh, that one turned out nice. Really? Yeah. Wow. Huh. That's pretty cool. Okay, so do that you have any be questions? An occupational therapist. Why not? Wait, I don't know. An occupational. I think, I think Diana was saying, be a therapist. You should be a therapist. I could be a good job. You could be the next Mike Newhart. Actually, I don't know the context of that. Tell me if it's something totally different. Um. Secret Wonders says I have a, a Secret Wonders Maine says I have a Tasha Tudor shawl. I'm a big fan of hers. Love her dresses. So here's the thing. What is an occupational therapist? So I, I have no up. idea. Uh, here's the thing. I love Tasha Tudor. But I have to say, when I find out that your family has completely fallen apart, I'm like, did you really succeed in life? Which, that could very well happen to us. I mean, our kids could totally fall apart. But, and I'm not saying she necessarily did anything wrong. But I look at these motivational people, and I'll be honest, like, Tony Robbins, he's really motivational. But then when I found out he was divorced, I was like, well... Well, we were we were kind of interested in him at the time when he started going through that. And it wait, seemed like... Wait, it seemed like he just got bored with his wife, which... Maybe that's not true. Like, maybe that might not be true. But, but it just seemed like, that doesn't seem like a very happy life. <laughs> well, I mean, he was going for all these things like cars and stuff like that. And we're like, okay, but if you don't have a good marriage, and if none of your kids are talking to you, did you really succeed in life? <coughs> I don't know. But. Oh, Marie anyway. says hi from Sweden. It's, oh, hello. 
1248 there. Oh my. Well, 0048. Wow. Yes, Dave. We Number love Sweden. One. You're not cutting. You're not cutting those, and then smelling them right away. You didn't smell every bark. Well, it's because my nose is oh, wow. clogged, so I can't really smell also, a lot. But man, it smells. It does. Actually, I can still smell it. it smells really good. It smells oh, that good. does smell good. <laughs> Mary says we should be bed and breakfast owners. Mike would love that. <laughs> yeah. Except, who would clean the bed and breakfast? Gee, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, stay. <coughs> Mike has a gift of cleaning. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! You guys have to get the candle. I don't know if I can sing again, Dave. Uh, I already sang twice. See, I thought a campground or a bed and breakfast or something would be great, but then who's going to be doing all the cooking and the cleaning for all of this? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Um. Wow, that one got a lot of green in it. So... I don't know. Um, we got to have a couple of other ideas for your next job. <clears throat> okay. It kind of it kind of uh, makes me a little concerned when Tar starts talking about that again. <clears throat> okay. Well, yeah. Is there a coupon for the ebook ATM? I must have huh? missed something. <laughs> Uh, I think maybe the phone translated something different than what you said. Sounds like it. Um, we don't have any. We don't have a sale this week. I just didn't get around to figuring out what to have a sale for. Angela so. says I just put your apple crisp for Monday's show in the oven. Oh, yum! Yeah, I'm going to share the granola bars recipe. If you're just joining us, Tara the sample. made the granola bars and now they're baking. Yes. And she's cutting this lovely soap. Which so here's the other bar with the other. Um, what do you call it? With the other uh, homemade mold. Now it did leak here, so that makes me wonder if I don't know if this is ooh, and that's pretty wet still. Oh. I'm thinking silicone is still the way to go. I don't know. I'm not liking the non-silicone molds. I just really like my silicone mold. Yes, Dave. All I want to say, sorry, I missed the beginning, had a school doctor, I'm due to a planned shooting. Oh, what is going on with Dave and the doctors? Um, so we took him to the doctor yesterday, and she said he might have an ear infection, so we started him on <coughs> antibiotics, and he started having very unpleasant reaction. Which we're not going to mention on the show, because they're so, like, <laughs> let's just say I had a schizophrenia accident, but it was actually up to, up to like, See that? He told me he had he was having schizophrenia today. I'm like, what? No, no. And he's like, yeah, I was like doing this. And I was thinking, I don't think you understand what this means. Yeah, I totally mixed you got up the wrong words. you got <gasps> the wrong word there. Okay, I'm not liking this mold as well. So I think <clears throat> we're gonna have to just not do that one. Hmm. Very interesting. So Bonnie says I should be a tour guide. That would be awesome. Oh, you would be a good be tour perfect. guide. Oh, man. Maybe we should move back up to Estes Park and you should start your own tour thing. Well, that, that was something I had talked about when we were doing Rocky Mountain Relaxation. Well, let's see. What could we do? Mike's tours of Estes Park? What would it take to do that? Let's see. Hmm. It would take me becoming insane. <laughs> take you becoming insane <clears throat> yeah oh i tried to do well the rocky mountain relaxation i haven't done anything on it for a while but when i was doing it <coughs> i was go send them the link dealing with the national park and some other places and it it was difficult to get things worked out up there well do you have to tell them you're doing a tour can you just oh well run a tour bus up there and just not tell them yeah you're for them you're supposed to get a permit Seriously? Yeah. Little turds. <laughs> wow. I need to go update this channel. <laughs> so Mike did a whole bunch of really, really good relaxation videos before um, before we started doing well on the live shows. He was going to try and start and do something like that for a business because I was done with living on a dime. She's done with living on a dime about <laughs> once, once a year maybe? Is that about right? It's getting more <clears throat> frequent. 
So I tried to reinvent myself a few times and then kind of switch back. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, Jill was just saying I, I'm the one who likes to clean. That she and I and Shayla used to clean yeah. houses. Oh, I just saw that we on clean our repo blog. houses. So I am <clears throat> deleting and combining posts on our blog to get it more streamlined. And that was on there about you cleaning. And tell them about the throne. Oh, you got to tell them about the throne. <laughs> so we were cleaning repossessed houses <clears throat> before the they could try to sell them because they were pretty disgusting most of the time. But when we went to the when we went in and had they had to keep us out because they had to bomb it for fleas first. Oh man. So the next day we came in and all the light bulbs were gone. Oh, there was one light bulb. And so I was unscrewing it with a rag and then taking it into the next room and screwing it in. Well, there was no water on in the houses, so we had to clean. We had to bring water and jugs to clean. Okay. And this one, we went into the basement and somebody had built this, this platform of like uh, two sets of risers. And then on the top, there was a toilet. It was in the basement. There was no it was, it was like totally, over the sewer pipe. It was an unfinished basement. Well, it was it was actually hooked in properly. Oh, it was? Oh, okay, but, sorry. But there was a toilet up on top of this dais, basically, and it was like um, they had a, one of those bank uh, cigarette uh, ashtrays there. <laughs> it was totally full. And I, we just called it the throne room. <laughs> so Somebody's wife was getting mad at him, I I bet. think it was a guy all by himself based on the look of the house. Yes, Dave? I don't think any woman would put up with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Katia says she's in France, so I guess we'll have to go visit her. Who's in France? France. Katia. Oh, I yes. Think. I don't know how to pronounce the middle name. But, oh, she says we'll <coughs> be having minus 10, deg 10 degrees Celsius, uh, which is 14 degrees Fahrenheit, Ooh. next Tuesday. Is that cold for France? In the center Fire of France. Eight. Dave and I, well, we're kind of stalled at the moment, but we've been working on learning French. So the idea was that if we did it, maybe we could come out there. She says Burgundy, France. Oh, Burgundy, cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we you have some be... family in France somewhere, but I'm not sure where. <laughs> you would be a great tour guide. Would I? Yeah. I think I would love to do that. Okay, so that's our next plan. This summer, summer is only four months away. How can you do this in four months? <laughs> That's what I want to know. The Living on a Dime Tours. The Living on a Dime Tours. <laughs> For an extra $300, Tar will show up. <laughs> I should say, cut the tourism and see the real good stuff. Oh! Think about the National Park. Well, I think every place you travel is like this. The place where the tour guides take everybody is not the place to go, generally. Oh, yeah, but it's... they have to do that because that's what everybody wants to see, is what they see in the pictures. Dave? Mm -hmm. She says it's pronounced like Katia. Katia. Oh! Oh. Okay. Mm. So this one did heat up a little bit too much, I think. You can see it's got a little bit of a gel ring right there, which may go away, but that's kind of interesting. Hmm. This one smells really, really good. This one will be ready in four weeks on my Etsy store. Oops, didn't get much color on that side, but we got a ton on that side. And then my last sample. Woohoo! Yay, wow, so that was my soap. soap. Love it. Everyone's loving the soap. I mean, it's amazing and beautiful and pretty. Thank you. <laughs> oh, bandana grandma's on. Hello, Susie. All right, my granola bars are smelling pretty good here. Let's see. Uh, a number Ooh. of people are asking if you sell the soaps. Are you are going to sell these? Yeah, I do sell them on my Etsy store. These won't be up for about four weeks. So I'm going to put the link to the Etsy store in the comments. And as usual, if you miss it, if you can't find the link, I'll be sharing the link again. But if you can't find it, you can go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes in the menu. All the show notes are there. Yeah. And I'm going to share the uh, granola bars recipe again. Since we're making granola bars. Here, Dave, can you come down and show <clears> them <throat> all the soap? Oh. Dun 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 dun. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Mm, it does yeah. smell good, actually. I would love to be a tour guide. <laughs> yes, you need to be a tour guide. So what we need to do? Look at all this lovely goodness, guys. Okay, so now we got to decide where are we gonna live for you to be a tour guide. 
Hmm. On the beach, you could be a scuba scuba guide. <laughs> you could teach people how to surfboard. I'm good at crazy stories, all right. Yeah. You know, like Robert Redford's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Where should Mike be a tour guide at? Oh, Pace That's is asking. Cheap. I love your soap. How much is the cost of the soap recipe ebook? Um, it is twenty nine dollars. I'll share the link in case you want it. Yes. So, Oops. Um, yeah, so anyway, I think I'll just make soap and you can be a tour guide. How does that sound? Okay. Well, actually, if we can get our French down, I already got Spanish down and English. So, what? In the United States. Oh, I was thinking fun places. Well, there are fun places in the United States. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Ooh, see? Sacred, oh, Wonders, you, Sacred loves Wonders loves Maine. your relaxing waterfall. There is one, though, that the picture isn't moving because at the time we didn't have enough bandwidth Bad to upload it. But I have the video still, and I should upload the moving version. Most of them are... You think Dad should be a tour guide at the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> Did you hear that, Dad? Yeah, at the Statue of Liberty? <laughs> I've never been there. Oh, so, <coughs> whoops. So Katia says, you're welcome to France. If you want to come, you'll be my guest. I'll be your host and guide. We would love that. Oh, wow. That would be pretty cool. That would be awesome. Airbnb spot. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So we need to go somewhere for three months and relax. France. So well, where could we go on the beach that's cheap? Anybody well. have a beach house you want to rent us for three months? <laughs> uh, bandana. Go to a farm in Hawaii. Is That's that on the beach? That's always new place she wants to do. You can work for 25 hours a week and have free housing and food. We can have free housing and food if we all work on the farm. <clears throat> I don't know if I could handle working on a farm. No, she could not. She would die the second day. <laughs> Mom, I have total confidence Mom? in you. Don't worry. You couldn't work on a farm? We, we wanted to have an herb farm when we first got married. It was actually Tara's idea, but she took me to one in Seattle and I thought, oh, that would be so this cool. would be awesome. A tour guide in the bed and breakfast you plan to open. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. I have a bed and breakfast and then take people on a tour. <laughs> hey, who wants to go to the park today? <laughs> <coughs> Carriage tours in Charleston. Wow, that sounds fun. Actually, that's something else we saw. Um, what do they call those carriages in Killarney National Park, Ellie? They call them something besides carriages. Trotting something? Oh, pardon me? Trotting something? Oh, yeah, it was trotting something. or No, it was jaunting carts. <laughs> that looked like a job that I would like, too. You pull the cart? No, there's horses, and you lead it, and you tell people what they're seeing as they go through the park. <laughs> Moonlight. Well, let's see. Could you do that through Rocky Mountain National Park? <clears throat> see, I think I should fly to Ireland and do that and then come back on the weekends. <laughs> There's the granola bars, guys. So we're going to let them cool because they're super hot. Dude, we'd be set up if we went over to the, the European the year area. Because, like, <clears throat> I was we could stay there for, like, three months. Permission you know? for it. <laughs> so let's see. Does anybody have... A house on the beach we could rent for three months from them. In Europe. Be a professor, no, wait, wait, professional wait. storyteller and sing a bit. My cousin makes a living doing that. Wow. Really? <laughs> Joanne says, you can't quit living on a dime. We don't miss you so much. <laughs> a motivational speaker. Oh. Wow. Am I motivating? I, I have no idea. Joy. I haven't motivated you. <laughs> I was going to say, you need to motivate me, I guess. <laughs> Man. Hello from Pocahontas, Arkansas. Wow. Oh, Andrea's on. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Goodbye, she my was, brother. She stopped over in Jennings for dinner the other night. Mike's family's from there. <laughs> An American tour guide in a European city. Oh, ooh, ooh. that would be not normal wow. thing. I just need to lead by your example there, Andrea. Because <laughs> that was awesome, you and Patrick taking us out. Um, oh, we could be Walton's Mountains Tour Guides. <coughs> That's not on the beach, though. Mm. 
<clears throat> Maine has the best beaches. I did not know that, Joanne. See, I always read the books and they leave New York City and go to the beach. I would like to go to New York City for Oh, yes. Yeah. Andrea, did you guys go to Killarney when you were living over in, in England? Because it was magical. We loved it. Nobody has a house for us. This makes me sad. No one has a house on the beach they'll rent to us for the summer. It's got to be a cool beach. No beach in Texas. No beach Actually, in the, the south. Actually, the beaches That's in Texas cool. are not unpleasantly hot in the summer because the cool air is coming off the mm -hmm. Although you'll get a sunburn if you don't mm -hmm. watch yourself. Yeah, Christine, we used to go to Galveston when I was a kid a lot. And also Padre Island. So. Four to six thousand a month for rent in New Jersey? Wow. Wow, we could get a oh, whole island see. in the Mediterranean for that. How many books could we sell? <laughs> Although, uh, it's I... funny though, in the Mediterranean they had the, they were giving, doing tours of people going to rent an island for a month and, and they had some bugs that sounded Jack? like locusts or something out there. And I think that would kind of ruin the fun a little bit. Oh, I can't stand locusts. I grew up in Kansas and I can't stand it. Um, okay, do I tell them what happened to the doctors today or do I get my blood pressure up? Wow, that's awesome, Andrea. I'll have to ask you about that. She said they took a real coach tour all around Ireland. <gasps> well, you could do that. Maybe we should just move to Ireland for the summer. I always thought that would be fun. Especially so, in the last eight months. Hmm. How dense are the buildings? In so, get this. So, I called because the doctor said <clears throat> that David should go to Children's for Ear, Nose, and Throat Doctor. So I was like, okay. So I called him today and she said, okay, your self pay? I said, yeah. She said, all right, there's a $200 deposit. There's a $1,500 building usage fee. To see a doctor. And then there's the doctor's fees and any tests over that. Just to go see if he needs his adenoids out. Well, no, just for a doctor's visit. Yeah, just not, to not see. Not to actually do anything. I said, are you kidding me? It takes $2,000 for me just to walk in and see the doctor. She's like, yep, that's what I have to pay every time I see him. I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was livid. You are always livid, man. I know, I'm always livid. I can't help it. <laughs> and Ike Godsey actor, that would be awesome. I would, would, be, I would be do good. great as Ike Godsey. You would be really good as Ike Godsey. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't go to New York at Christmas, it's magical. I would like to go to New York sometime in my life. We're all watching Living at a Time. We ain't got no vacation homes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Get to the farm, CZ. <coughs> so I have to wonder, true. what does your your YouTube name mean? The CZ especially, I was curious. CZ, what would that mean? I don't Click know. go to channel. Oh. Get to the farm.cz, or no, dash CZ. Oops. I was wondering if it was, oops. Oh, I didn't see if Adam Goshen actually got on the road yet. I have not seen them on the show today. Uh-uh. I bet they're on the road then. CZ. We have no idea what that means. We'll have to check. Go into their about. Does it say on their about page? <laughs> it says nothing. You need to put something on your about page so people know who you are. So we can so we can throw you some swag. <laughs> <over there. clears throat> yeah, $2,000. Yeah, I bet I had a cow. Yeah, I told Tari, you know, he doesn't seem like he's that bad. <laughs> no like, no offense, just... son, but... Wait a minute. No, it's painful. It's not coughing. Wait, scroll up. You want to use the tea? We are going to try. Oh, yeah. So has anybody tried... I'll ask Jamie. Oh, Ashley says, I'm in Texas. I think the beaches here are not nearly as nice as Florida. You know, I noticed I liked Galveston, but I liked... But there's a national seashore on North Padre Island, and it was spectacular. Um... But I haven't, and I've been to beaches in Louisiana, and they were okay. Um, and on the, we've been on the Pacific coast in a number of places, and they were mostly cold. <laughs> okay, so has anybody tried Changa, Chaga? How do you say that? Chaga? Say chaga or Chaga? Chaga, Chaga. Mushroom. Has anybody tried <clears throat> Chaga mushroom? So, it's these like chunks that they peeled off of trees of a mushroom and you're supposed to boil it for 24 hours to make a tea has anybody used this that's what we want to know jamie and i are going to try it for pain we have next. an answer cz is for canal zone they said i was what raised does there that mean that's in the, the panama canal zone 
Oh. I assume that's the canal zone you're referring to. So yeah, it's funny because in my mind I was thinking CZ is the domain ex uh, extension for, uh, or the top level domain for Czechoslovakia, or Czech Republic, sorry. I almost said Czechoslovakia, but oh. that shows my age, doesn't it? So has anybody tried these for pain? So Jamie and I are going to try it for pain. I'll have my, actually, yeah, I'll have to have Mike. Well, I don't know if Mike or I will bring it over to you tomorrow, Jamie. One of us will. Um, oh my goodness, Tracy said about the money, she said holy poop emoji. <laughs> I know! <clears throat> I was so mad. Patricia, I don't know what kind of bugs they were. They, they, I say they sounded like that, but they, I, I, cicadas, is that how you say that? I don't think they were those. They sounded different, but it was that same kind of annoying sound when they all get going together. Okay. And these people were going to pay a huge amount to rent this small island in the Mediterranean. And the wife was like, I don't know if I want to hear this the whole trip. And I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Karen says, I have a friend that owns a house, beach house in Ocean City, Maryland, but it's $2,500 a week and always booked. Wow. What are the jobs that these people are doing? That's what well, I in Maryland, don't know. They're probably coming out of D.C. or somewhere that's. It's all those politicians that are paid so well. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> not that kind of show. <laughs> move to England. Andrea says, I just I told my <coughs> husband I want to move to England, Barcelona, Ireland each summer. A girl can dream. I was looking and I thought, you know, in Ireland, you can't stay more than three months on a tourist visa. But if you come, if you can prove that you have work and stuff like that and don't need to rely on them, they may approve you to stay longer. And I was thinking, we're on the internet. <laughs> like, we don't have to take somebody's job. I think we should go to New Zealand for the summer. It's, oh, that would be winter there, though, wouldn't it? Hmm. Is there a place on the ocean where it's nice in the winter in New Zealand? Maybe we could find something I'm cheap sure there. I'm sure there is. Do people go to New Zealand in the winter? I don't know if a lot of people <laughs> do, but I certainly think we would. <laughs> Um, Karen said, aren't there any ear, nose, and throat specialists near you? It'd be only an Okay, so, visit. oh, I didn't finish that story. Sorry. So, after I got done ranting to Mom, Mike, and Heidi, oh, I was like... I was having a hard time this morning. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So then I looked up ear, nose, and throat doctors, and there's a guy that I went to, totally forgot about him. He gave me sh shots right there in my throat. Right there. I got four shots every time I went, and it For hurt what? like the dickens. I was in tears. It hurt so bad. Trying to relax my jaw. See, <clears throat> instead you just needed a vacation. I know. Could have, could have given up the shots and you could have had fun on a beach somewhere. I know. <laughs> and so I called, and they can get them in tomorrow morning for 200 bucks. <laughs> nice. So and I'm like, we're, we're probably, going while he's sick so he can look at it and see if he needs his tonsils or his adenoids out. We'll probably get reimbursed for that Because David, too. I am not exaggerating. David is sick three to four months out of every year. He gets this and he is sick for six weeks at a time. He has already been sick since January 5th. That whole entire time, that was the first day he missed school after they went back, January 5th. He's been sick since January 5th. They got <coughs> sick, they had like a four-day break, and then they got sick again. Well, <clears throat> and Dave has been... Uh, <clears throat> he does this three times a year. Dave has been sick like this every year more than the other kids, and it's been sticking around. And when Ellie <coughs> was... How old was Ellie? When Ellie was three, she had her adenoids out. I can't remember why, but there was some reason <coughs> they were infected or something. Her adenoids in her tonsils, and she doesn't get sick now, mm -hmm. really. Did she get sick a lot before that? Yeah. So we were just not sure if that might be the reason why he keeps getting sick so much. But, yeah, Wenda says if you homeschool, you can go wherever. <laughs> True. Well, that's what I was thinking. Uh, North Carolina beach houses are the best value. Clean, reasonably priced, good restaurants. Thanks, Rosemary. We'll have to check that out. Um, we've never really been, well, I've never been on the East Coast, really. So, uh, we had some... Uh, I don't so know. Tour... I need a vacation. So we have a couple things. Rosemary says mushrooms are a nightshade. Supposedly they contribute to inflammation. So maybe you don't want to take that. Um, Turid says you can use it in coffee that they have a lot of it in Norway. Huh. Hmm. 
Teresa, how's the weather here? <clears throat> Bitterly cold today. It, it was beautiful and sunny and there was snow and everything was colorful and it was like six degrees <laughs> Fahrenheit. Sunday we had all the windows open because it was so hot. And then Monday we got snow and, and it was like six yesterday and it was like 30 today. And that's six Fahrenheit. So <laughs> if you guys are in some place where it's Celsius, it would be in the far into the negatives. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Oh, they're not cool enough to cut yet. Bandana says, Hubby and I need to know your summer plans so you're not away when we drive to Colorado. Who? Bandana Grandma. Oh, we'll you be know. here for you, Susie. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here for you. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Alice, we, we have a, a medical sharing thing, um, which probably will pay for that. But uh, it's, it's a health share. It's, a, it's Liberty Health Share. Um, the, and the reason why we don't have the other insurance is because it, it costs us like $1,500 a month that won't pay anything until we pay $9,000 out of pocket for each person. Each person, so people! we've never had that kind of medical expense in our lives except maybe Ellie's, each Ellie's intensive care when she was born. So, each person. But the health sharing is a third of that price. Um, and it covers more. At least that's what it, we think it covers more. We haven't gotten to the point of claiming a lot yet. So, but we have to, a lot of the doctors aren't sure, or a lot of the offices aren't sure what health sharing is, and so they may not take the card, and then we have to say, can we get the cash discount, and then we send it to them and submit it. So, okay, so they're not cool enough to cut yet. You want to make sure they're totally cool. But here's a little piece of what it looks <clears> like, so let me taste test. Um, so... The, what, what, what it is is Liberty Health Share is the company, but there are other ones like, um, what was the Samaritan something or another Sim and MediShare or something. MediShare, yeah, those are all, um, they're all, they're Christian-based sharing, although they, different, they have different mm. things like Liberty Health Share. Well, so it doesn't pay for things like... Um, <clears throat> Try to think of what it doesn't pay for. It well, it doesn't pay for anything pre-existing. It Until does, but for, not, not for, a for a while. Year. Yeah, not for a year. And it won't pay for... Um, <clears throat> like plastic surgery It won't or... pay for optional things. It won't... It, there's certain types of behavioral things like... Um, like... Like men's health <clears throat> in certain areas, drugs. Different things like that it won't pay for. <laughs> but the price is a lot less. And uh, it apparently pays for... Pretty much all of the things that you would actually need. Yeah. So then you'd have to do something else with the optional things. But, but for the, the insurance that we had <clears throat> was really, really expensive and wouldn't pay anything until we had $9,000 worth of expenses per person. per person each year. Yeah. The we don't Affordable even make, Care we Act. We don't make enough money to do that. So well, when we got our chance, we switched. Um, Finding my happy place. Jasmine, maybe do online school so he isn't around so much illness. Well, we are planning yes. to homeschool him after this year. Yeah. Uh, we were just trying to wrap time? the year. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> my nephew continually had strep throat. About eight recurring infections. They removed his tonsils and no so more infections. that's what was happening to, to Ellie. It was it Ashley. I, I missed the name. It but was anyway, Ashley. David never has strep throat. He is sick for six weeks. And he never has strep. So finally, I got a home strep test. Thanks. Heidi told me that there's a, <coughs> there's a home strep test. Go here. Click on Amazon and you can find it. Wait, wait. <clears throat> strep test. And um, I bought a pack <clears throat> of that. That's it right there. <clears throat> I bought a pack. And Oh, was that the right one? Wait a minute. Scroll back just a minute. I don't think that was the same one I got. Hold on, scroll. Oops. And, um, <laughs> scroll. It's that one, isn't it? E, uh, scroll down. Yeah, I think it was that one. Yeah. This one? This one. This one. Yeah, that one. That's the one. And <clears throat> so I got a home strep test. And I tested him for strep, and he's negative. Many times. And I keep testing him, and he's still negative. So I'm like, do we need to have the tonsils and adenoids removed so that that would help? Maybe he just collects stuff on his thing. Well, it's so, like 
It's like the kind of thing. Oh, Kathleen's buying a beach house. Can we rent it for three months before you occupy it? Well, you didn't it? see what she said. What? She said, on Whidbey Island. That's a really nice is place. Is that a cool place? It's I don't a, know where that is. It's over on the, off, off of Seattle. Oh! Um, and has a detached mother-in-law suite if we get it. Your family's welcome to just to use ah! paying the utilities. <gasps> Who is that? Kathleen? <laughs> Sarah's paying attention. Man, Kathleen. We might have to do that. I need a vacation. <laughs> but how would we do the show if we're on vacation? See, that's the problem. We'd probably have to just go on a phone or something and just <clears throat> be kind of laid back about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> have somebody back home or somewhere else <clears throat> keeping track of comments. Um, how much would the surgery cost? We don't know. I have no idea. I'm if, not thinking about it until I even know if he has well, to have it done. If a doctor said it was necessary, then the health sharing place would probably pay. Yeah. I'm not going to think um, about it until we know. But. I don't want to know until. Here, you didn't get a taste test. Ooh, yum. I wouldn't mind being an illegal alien in Europe. <laughs> yes, Rebecca. Ooh, don't they have tour guides at Budweiser? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they do. There are a lot of people who want to stay in Europe and kind of what do you hang mean? out. And they go and they stay in a place. It's delicious. It's amazing. Man, I need another one. <laughs> they'll stay in one place as long as they're allowed to. And then they'll go to another place for a little bit. And then they'll come back again. Because they can still be tourists that way. <clears throat> mm. Hmm. Yeah, Sacred Wonders, does the tea help you? The Indiana Dunes. Wendy says we're planning a trip to the Indiana Dunes in the near future. What is that? They have a state park where you can go camping. Oh! You camp. Spring break. So, so there must be, is there a beach there? Since it's dunes. In Indiana? There's no well, beach in Indiana. Think, but maybe there's a place we haven't heard of before. I've never heard of it. So for spring break, maybe we should try and go down to the <clears> sand <throat> dunes. I've never been there. Oh, that, what's that day, what's that sand Mesa dunes Verde. park that you wanted to go see? It's not Mesa Verde, is it? No. Well, I mean, just go see all of it. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. It's been like five years <clears throat> and five. We could do the, the quick drive past Four Corners. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> huh. uh, find it on Google Maps. Dave says he's not worth $2,000. We've already paid a lot more than that for you, boy, so don't say you're not worth it. Test for allergies know. first. He has been tested has. for allergies. And now the <laughs> allergy stuff works for him. I, I'm so, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Oops. Uh, you talking about the dunes? Yeah. I no, you, were, you learned about it in school. It's in Colorado somewhere. There's a, there's the a sand national, dunes the national park. I don't Monument. Know. Monument. In... Sand Creek. Yeah. Mon is it down in Monument? Is that what it's called? I don't, I don't know. know. Actually, what's don't funny, know. Colorado really doesn't and... have very much tourism. Even though they have a lot of tourism, everybody <clears throat> either goes to Estes Park or up to like Breckenridge and Aspen and that. Yeah. We really don't have much to do here, believe it or not, unless the only thing you can do is if you're going up to the mountains to ski or in the summer if you're just going to... Maybe you should go to Germany. I don't know, but... Uh, somebody asked, what is health sharing? Who asked that? I didn't see. Uh, but it's basically, it's, it's similar to insurance, but it's not insurance. Um, it's, it's where all the people that are part of it contribute to it. And it's, you share each other's medical bills, share each other's medical bills. Um, so like they divvy up all the medical bills and like now, what is it? $450 a month right now or something for us. It's probably closer to that now because you got off of that other plan. So if you're overweight or have high blood pressure, diabetes, or anything like that, they charge you another $80 a month. I but... think for diabetes, it would be something different because the, the overweight thing is <clears throat> uh, if you, you get a health coach and then if you lose weight, then they take that off. Um, but for some things, there are pre-existing conditions, but they're for a certain amount of time and then not anymore. Yeah, so then everybody just basically splits up the medical bills between but it, each other. But it's a very large group of people like, like an insurance company. They're just not the same as insurance. But in the United <coughs> States, I don't know if you're required to have the uh, insurance through the system anymore. But when you were, it, was, um, it, was, it, it satisfies the requirement for that. You don't have to have insurance anymore. So Thank you, Trump. We appreciate it. So, so we don't get fined. <clears throat> So, uh, 
Oh, we're not going to get fined because we're on this now. Uh, but it satisfies the, or it satisfied the... No, Denise, I hate sand, but for some reason I'm feeling like we need to just go sit on a hot beach for a few months and see if we can do something with ourselves. Yeah, so let's see. Just looking to see what else we have here. Indiana dunes are on Lake Michigan and have some beautiful beaches. Oh, okay. Well, why are nice. they called Close Indiana dunes if they're in Michigan? That makes no sense. No. <laughs> Lake Michigan is there between Indiana and Illinois. Oh, oh, oh Lake Michigan. Oh. <laughs> I missed the lake part. <laughs> oh, Alice says, everything I've made from your site has been delicious. Ever had any disasters? <laughs> well, the recipes um, have all turned out fine, but... Yeah, I have disasters every day. <laughs> but now she knows how to roll out of the disasters, which is pretty awesome. Apparently, before I met her, she had disasters that so, were less successful. <laughs> there's a new doctor in Reno that says fibromyalgia is neurological should i finally go see that guy no, no. i've been telling him it's neurological for the last 30 years but nobody will do anything so do i go see that guy uh sure sure why not i thought i wasn't allowed to go to another doctor <coughs> again oh yeah you can't go if you have to pay anything tell him you'll tell him we'll wash dishes <laughs> Uh, freezing here in the Sierra is expecting five to ten inches of snow tomorrow. I've been so sick over a week. Not sure I have a lung left to cough up. Oh. Oh. We've Sunday, kind of... we don't either. Mike's been slowly grabbing everything to prevent the slide into the pit. Okay, no show them our pills. Show them our bottles, Dave. Show them right there. Oh. This is our. Yeah, add it to the. Add the floaties. You gotta put it all in there. Like, Wait. Is part of it. There you go. Okay. That is what we're all taking right now to try and keep ourselves going. <laughs> That's not helping very much either. Are you going needs... to Mississippi? Ramona, we're going to Mississippi, but it's not a vacation. <coughs> it's work for us. The thing is, we're going to be talking to people and doing things, and it's not... <coughs> like Tara had noticed, I'm not going to complain that Ellie and I got to go to Ireland because it was awesome, but... Tara was noting that when you go and you run around and do stuff, it's not the same as going somewhere and just sitting sitting and relaxing. And... Americans don't know how to do a proper vacation. A so, proper vacation is not walking around an amusement park wearing yourself out for four or five days. A so, vacation is sitting doing nothing. So speaking of Mississippi, I'm sharing that <clears throat> the gathering March 11th, we're going to be at the Deep South Homestead Gathering. Uh, we're going to be doing interviews and talking with a lot of people, and it's going to be pretty busy. <laughs> so it won't quite be the same as just hanging out. Although, I think we might hang out just a little bit with Alderman. Yeah, so we're going to hang out with Alderman Farm, which we're super excited about that. And then we're going to go to the gathering, and we're going to get to hang out with all our YouTube homesteading buddies. Yep. Yeah. So we're all excited. How's the diet going? I'm, I don't know which diet you're talking about, but I'm still trying, but it's not going very well. Mike gained some over Christmas <clears throat> and then hasn't gotten back on the plan yet. So I'm, I'm still down from where I started significantly, but not down as low as I was. So hopefully we get back to that. <laughs> um, but Mike's having a focus problem <laughs> at the moment. Let's see. Uh, oh, do we want to sing for Katya? Mm. Ramona wants to know, how is it considered neurological? I know it's been neurological all these years. And I keep telling the doctors, there's something wrong with my brain. Figure it out. And they won't figure it out. And these guys know that it's neurological. Whoa. And I'm like, I'm hauling my butt down to Reno. But <laughs> he won't let me spend any more money. Donna says, <laughs> oh, Tara wants to go to sand. Oh, it's the Colorado sand dunes. Thank you, Jennifer. I could have Googled it. I'm sitting here in front of a computer. Okay. We're going to sing to Katya. <gasps> well, Except we have to start work. that up again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Katya. Happy birthday to you. All right. Yay. Yay. All right. All right, guys. We're going to be back Friday. Oh, Krista says I missed seeing your mom. Has she not been on for a couple days? You mean on the oh, YouTube yes, she channel? We just ran out of videos that we shot at Christmas. Ah. So we probably, I don't know, we might do some when we get back from, I don't know. Or we, we may do some when we get back from Mississippi or we may just wait and do them when... 
she comes out in June. It's super hard for us to have her on because, um, oh, Wanda's on. Did you get more books today or just the two boxes? So, Wait, where do you see Wanda? So, crazy days. Yet? So, oh. Wanda and Danny got two boxes of books for the meetup. And Danny's like, um, you gotta split up the boxes. Because <laughs> they were so heavy. Now you understand why I'm sick of shipping books. Were they just the regular boxes? Yeah. Or, oh, I thought you maybe put them in something bigger. I had BJ load them into the car for me. I was like, oh man. And by the way, guys, we only have not very many books left. We have more coming. They should be here around March 15th to 16th. But we're getting low. So if you want a book, you better grab a Dining on a Dime cookbook. Quickly. Right here. So Nancy right said there. two of her kids do the same thing and... You're now 20s and 30s, the doctor tested for everything to determine they just have a weakness in that area. Oh, that would be unfortunate. Well, she did say yesterday about there's some genetic something that's a weak immune system of some sort. And we I'm assumed like, it might just be that for a long time, but Tara so, just got the idea on the other thing. Oh, Tara, they won a gold medal in Norway every day. Very good. All right. Oh, somebody they, asked. Is the Olympic, Olympics still on? I haven't been watching. Uh, we haven't been watching. Okay, so as somebody asked, I got to go, but somebody asked, how is fibromyalgia neurological? What the problem is, is your brain is not registering your pain correctly. <clears throat> it's registering pain when it shouldn't be. And now they're saying that the nerves are dying. And they think that that's part of what's wrong with the fibromyalgia is your nerves are dying. And they were talking about your neuropathy, mom. Should send you to Reno to check this guy out. And, um, yeah. I was suddenly thinking about in the old movies when they talked about sending someone to Rio. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Remember how they used to go to Arizona or whatever for tuberculosis or whatever? Maybe I should do that. Yeah. So Tara was going to, uh, was it a year and a half ago? She went to um, Glenwood Springs in Colorado and she said, yeah, you know, I should stay here and stay in the hot springs because... Doc Holliday came here because of his uh, tuberculosis. I'm like, yeah, he's buried on that hill up there. He died there. It's like, I don't think it cured him. <coughs> but she did go there for a while anyway. And but it still didn't do him any good. We thought it so would. So don't answer the question. So anyway, yeah. All right, guys. We will be back on Friday. I have no idea what I'm doing on Friday. Well, thanks, everyone, for coming. We're glad to have you here. It was fun. Ooh, they're estimating a thousand people at the Deep South Gathering. No, they're not. No, they're like a couple hundred. Are, are they seriously crazy day? Are you Wanda, are you serious? No, she says two fifty. Oh, I have to <laughs> like, say, there's no way they're having a thousand people. Yeah, I mean, not that people wouldn't come, just that that's not what she said yesterday to me when I was talking to her. <laughs> Whoa, it's suddenly I'm like, there's no way we, we went up to a thousand in overnight. Yeah. <laughs> that actually probably wouldn't want to go because there'd be too many people. Okay. Oh, man. Well, thanks, everyone. Okay, guys. We'll see you guys on Friday. <coughs> Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Oh, I forgot to see if Cohen Batty was on.